are special by Max Licardo. The Wemmicks were small wooden people. Each of the wooden people was carved by a woodworker named Eli. His workshop sat on a hill overlooking their village. Every Wemmick was different. Some had big noses, others had large eyes. Some were tall and others were short. Some wore hats, others wore coats. But all were made by the same carver and all lived in the village. And all day, every day, the Wemmicks did the same thing. They gave each other stickers. Each Wemmick had a box of golden star stickers and a box of grey dot stickers. Up and down the streets, all over the city, people could be seen sticking stars or dots on one another. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, small wooden Wemmicks we are. We give out stars, we give out dots, we hand out stickers by the light. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, circles all tell you who you are. We are Wemmicks big and small, I wonder if you're Give you a stick on in your eye. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Stickers will tell you who you are. If you trip and lose a plot, then you'll get a big fat dot. If we decide we don't like you, then we'll probably give you two. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Stickers will tell you who you are. The pretty ones, those with smooth wood and fine paint, always got stars. But if the wood was rough or the paint chipped, the Wemmicks gave dots. Some could build human pyramids, whilst others could play musical instruments. Some could do gymnastics, whilst others had the moves. Some could cartwheel. Whilst others could spell big words. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Everyone gave them stars. Some Wemix had stars all over them. Every time they got a star, it made them feel so good that they did something else and got another star. Others, though, could do little. They just got dots. Punchinello was one of these. He tried to jump high like the others, but he always fell. And when he fell, the others would gather round and give him dots. He would try to explain why he fell, but he'd just say something silly and the Wemmicks would give him more dots. After a while, he had so many dots that he didn't want to go outside. He was afraid he would do something dumb, such as forget his hat or step in the water and then people would give him another dot. In fact, he had so many grey dots that some people would come up and give him one without reason. He deserves lots of dots, the wooden people would agree with one another. He's not a good wooden person. While 
Punchinello believed them. I'm not a good Wemmick, he would say. The few times he went outside, he hung around other Wemmicks who had a lot of dots. He felt better around them. One day he met a Wemmick who was unlike any he'd ever met. She had no dots or stars. She was just wooden. Her name was Lucia. I got no dots on the my back. You know the one that's coming from that. When you grow up soon, your stars are dots and confidence in your face. You get sprung. When they give me a sticker, notice they won't stick. Don't stick. It wasn't that people didn't try to give her stickers. It's just that the stickers didn't stick. Some admired Lucia for having no dots. They would run up and give her a star, but it would fall off. Some would look down on her for having no stars, so they would give her a dot, but it wouldn't stay either. That's the way I want to be, thought Punchinello. I don't want anyone's marks. So he asked the stickerless Wemmick how she did it. Oh, it's easy. Every day I go see Eli. Yes, Eli, the woodcarver. I go to his job and sit with him. Why? Why don't you find out? Go up the hill and find him. He is there. And with that, the Wemmick with no marks turned and skipped away. But he won't want to see me, Punchinello cried out. Lucia didn't hear. So Punchinello went home. He sat near a window and watched the wooden people as they scurried around, giving each other stars and dots. There is a place I would like, somewhere no one knows so why. Who would just be left alone? He muttered to himself, and he resolved to go see Eli. He walked up the narrow path to the top of the hill and stepped into the big shop. His wooden eyes widened at the size of everything. He had to stretch on his tiptoes to see the top of the workbench. Punchinello swallowed hard. I'm not staying here. And he turned to leave. Then he heard his name. The voice was deep and strong. Punchinello stopped. Punchinello, nice to see you. Let me take a look at you. Punchinello turned slowly and looked at the loving craftsman. You know my name? The little Wemmick asked. Of course I do. I made you. The maker spoke thoughtfully as he inspected the grey circles. Looks like you've been given some bad marks. I didn't mean to, Eli. I tried really hard. You don't defend me, child. I don't care what the other ones think. You don't? No, and you shouldn't either. Would they have the right to give you stars or dots? It doesn't matter what they think, Punchinello. It's what I think really matters. And I think you're pretty special. Punchinello laughed. Me? Special? But, uh, look at me, I can't run fast. I can't jump, paint, my, my wood's peeling. Why would I matter to you? Eli looked at Punchinello 
put his hands on those small wooden shoulders and spoke very slowly. Because you're mum, and that's why you're mad. Punchinello had never had anyone look at him like this, much less his maker. He didn't know what to say. No matter what they tell you, no matter what they do, no matter what they stick on you, what I believe is true. No matter what they call you, however they attack. Eli lifted Punchinello off the bench and set him on the ground. And as the Wemmick walked out the door, Punchinello didn't stop, but in his heart he thought, I think he really means it. And when he did, a dot fell to the ground. Everyone's special in their own way Everyone's different and that's all okay The person who made you loves you for you So don't listen to the wedding that I like you Some have stars that go really far Some have dots that life will turn off Some have stars and some have dots If you ignore them before I You can sing, you can sigh, or maybe bake a pie, but just remember, you are special. Party rockets in the house tonight, oh. everybody just have a good time. I can feel this pain, hey. don't make you lose your mind, yeah. they just want to see you. Zeppelin. Hey, party rockers in the house. 